We're going to talk about the numbers group in this section of the Home tab. Notice I have some text here. When I click on it, it shows the alignment. It also shows general, which is really text. Now I could say text, it won't matter. It's the same thing. Down here, however, I have also general, and here's a number. Now, usually when you want to do math and you enter numbers in Excel, you don't want it to say general. You might want it to be a number. There we go with a decimal. I might want it to have more decimals or fewer decimals, that's fine. Or maybe I want it to be currency, that is money. So notice it added the dollar sign, the comma, and the two decimals. Okay, I can do that. I can call it accounting. It formats it slightly different. If I select all three of these, I can format them at once. There we go. If I don't care to see that dollar sign, I can change them to number. Okay, here we go. Um, if I enter a number, but I want it to be a percentage instead of a number, I can change this. I can use this right here. Now that's interesting. Notice what I entered. That really wasn't what I meant, was it? So whenever I do that, I generally have to click the percent first and then enter the number. So let's say, let's say I enter 10 and I'm not sure what percent it's going to be. So I click in here and I say, I'm not really sure. You know, I click out of there. It thinks it's a percent. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted. Up here, I delete that and I say, okay, let's try this. 10, it's still a percent. Wow, why? Because I didn't change the format in the cell. So if I select this over here, I don't want it to be a percent, right? Notice over here, I can change it back to a number. Okay, now when I enter 10, it gives me a number. Now watch this. If I just put this, again, it assumes, why do I get this 1,000? It has to do with 1 being 100%. So if I really enter the number 1, you need to know that 1 equals 100% in Excel. If you enter 10, okay, right here, and then you enter the percent, it's, it's not going to get the right answer. If you want to do it that way, you have to use it like this. You have to go 1 tenth and that changes to 10%. So I've seen a lot of people enter a number, such as five or 10, change it to percent, and they don't get the right answer. So again, let's try this again. If you want to enter 10%, you have to enter it like this, and then it'll show properly. If you enter this, I'm gonna get 500%, because one equals 100%. So that's kind of a warning on that part. If I have a big number here, it already entered a comma, if I enter a number here, see there's no comma here when it's just a number, I can enter a comma, and it doesn't turn it off if I click it again, right? Or, there we go, I can change it to currency. So almost anything I want to do, I can do there. Or the best way to do it, if I click on this, I get that old format cells number. Notice before I had alignment and then font. Now I see all of the choices here that are beautifully presented more graphically here. Okay, so here you can get to the most common and more graphical things, but here you just have a few more options. So this is all about adding numbers and the number group on the home page in Excel.